What's up, sir? So, he was driving without a seatbelt on, pulled up to the stop sign, did the traffic stop right here. As soon as I blue lit him, he got out the car and started cursing and stuff, walked up to him. So like, hey, calm down, whatever. He didn't want to calm down, so we were about to put him in cuffs. He started actively resisting us. They grabbed both of his arms, and I said, if you decide to fight the officers, you're going to get tased. Get in the car. What are you talking to like that? Why are you jumping out the car? Who are you talking to like that? You. Why are you jumping out the car? What you mean? Bro, why are you grabbing my Why are you jumping out the car? First of all, bro, why are you grabbing my... Hey, bro, you know who I am, bro. I don't even know who you are. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Spread your feet. Bro, why the... Oh, I got a gun. Here we go. Here it is. And I'm pretty sure he is a convicted felon. Call the supervisor, bro. What did I tell it's you? not fuck what you say. It's about what your SOP it's, say. Okay. It's about you what your SOP say. Now before you get yourself in more Arrested trouble, for sir. what? So now you're going to make it arrest. Conduct. This only kind of going. Let's this go. This only for what? Sir. I beat them. I will. I will. Please. Google who I am. I would love for you to take me to jail for disorderly conduct no, right sir. now. The Supreme Court states that police are allowed to lie during investigations, but to what extent? Welcome back to San Joaquin Valley Transparency. In today's video, a Savannah, Georgia cop lies to his supervisor, Sergeant Cologne. He says that the man was swearing at him and he told him to calm down. None of that happened. Officer Johnson, badge 64,157 from the Savannah Police Department, walked up to him and immediately put hands on him. Next thing you know, two more cops grab him and Johnson pulls his taser out on him. Throughout this video, you can hear the disdain that Officer Johnson has for this man. His opinion is that the gentleman is some kind of felon. Bad cops help to create great activists. We here at San Joaquin Valley Transparency do our best to highlight the new channels for you, so make sure you go give this man the credit that he deserves. Maybe he'll be inspired to record these cops at their department and on traffic stops. Let's watch this video. We'll pause for comments and give you our final thoughts at the end. Let's get to it. Get back in the car. Like Get in the car. What are you talking to like that? Why are you jumping out the car? What are you talking to like that? You. Why are you jumping out the car? What you mean? Bro, why are you grabbing my Why are you jumping out the car? First of all, bro, why are you grabbing my... Hey, bro, you know who I am, bro. I don't even know who you are. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Spread bro. your feet. Bro, why the fuck are you putting your hands on me, bro? Because. Why are you why jumping out the car? Why are you putting your hands on me, bro? Why are you jumping out the car? Why the fuck you putting your hands on me, bro? I ain't even did shit, bro. What are you doing, bro? I'm driving without your seatbelt on. What the fuck? Now you get to go in handcuffs. Handcuffs for what, bro? What the fuck is going on? Why you tripping, boy? It's going to go one or two ways. It's going to go one or two ways. It's going to go one or two ways. Bro, I pulled over to get out my fucking car, bro. Do you want to get tased? Tased for what? I ain't even resisting, bro. I'm not even resisting. What are you going to tase me for? The tase for what? They tame for what, bro? What do you know who I am, bro? You know who I am? No. All right. So we're going to have fun with this. We're going to have real fun with this, bro. That's fine. Your body cam on? Yes, sir. Make sure all the motherfucking body cams on, too, bro. You just turned that shit on, too. No, you just no. turned that shit on, too, bro. I want your mother's name and badge number, bro. It'll be on the citation. What, wrong what is this right here, sir? Citation for what? For citation for what? I ain't got shit on me, bro. You okay. a clown, bro, like the rest of y'all, bro. What's wrong with you, bro? What is your name? Don't you worry about my name, you bro. You want to go to jail? For what? For obstruction. I, how the f*** did I, what did I do to I break the law, bro? Place. What you the f*** did I... Seat belt on. The so until I'm you in handcuffs have... because I ain't have a seatbelt so you clean, because bro? You did you see me without a seatbelt on? Yes, I did. Show me on your body cam when you had no, I ain't had no seatbelt on, bro. Is the car registered your name? Man, bro, you asked me all this question. What the f*** did I do, bro? You literally blue like me, bro. There's a lot to learn from this video. First of all, Riding Clean should be the next rap song topping the charts. You can ride clean and still be a boss. Just ask this guy. The last thing you want to be doing is riding dirty, especially if you're going to give cops the business. Remember that cops are looking to lock you up. Absolutely do not give them reason to do that. You ain't got shit to charge me with, bro. I can charge you with traffic citations if I want to. what, bro? Now. For what, bro? You won't go to jail. Bro, do you, you know how to you look right now, bro? Hey, I'm a black man. You a black man Sit too, down. bro. You got me handcuffed. You about to tase me. You doing all this <laughs> extra shit about a seatbelt, bro? You, you don't you clearly don't know who the guy am, bro. Okay. You clearly don't know the fuck I am, bro. What's your name? You clearly don't know the guy am, bro. I don't know. So Cause you just name? did all that for no bottom. Did you pull your taser out, bro? Because call your supervisor, bro. That's fine. I ain't saying shit you two call him. Call up your supervisor. Your feet in the car. Call the supervisor, bro. Put call up your supervisor, bro. You pulled your taser out and threatened to tase me, bro, with your two officers right here yes, I with did. my hands behind. What the fuck did I do, bro? Because you weren't letting us put you in handcuffs. How? Nigga, I never resist, bro. And then you turn your body cam on late, bro. 
My camera's been on. No, it was not, bro. I seen you when you pushed that shit, bro. Do you can have you a camera please, on sir? here, bro? Sir, can you? Nah, bro, you got me. Nah, bro, it's a, a Sunday morning, bro. I ain't did shit to you, bro. If you, you was gonna blue light me, bro, you should have blue light me right now, bro. I I'm traffic's how I taste it, though, bro. You're like a fucking clown right now, bro. You look like a fucking clown, bro. You, you clearly don't right. get know me, bro. You clearly don't, cause you just did the extra shit with the wrong person, bro. You then you got your two ass at the back up over here, bro. Look how you look, bro. Call you the supervisor. He's on the way. Put your feet No, you call him. Call him. All right, then I get in the car when you call your supervisor, bro. He's already on the way. Like, what the fuck is wrong with car. you, bro? Put your feet in the car. Please. It's like your SWAT, bro. You got the SWAT shit on, bro. What's your name, bro? Officer Johnson, sir. What's your badge number? 64157. All right, bro. Can you please put your feet in the car, sir? Nah, I'm waiting till your supervisor get here, bro. That's not how this I works. I pulled over to get out the car like I was doing before you blew like me, bro. What's wrong with you, That's bro? That's crazy. No, you're crazy, bro. I ain't even did shit. You did about a seatbelt, bro? He said fuck the seatbelt, bro? Really, bro? Tripping, bro. Yo, trip. Bro, give me my phone, bro. What you doing, bro? Give me my, bro, what you doing all that for, bro? So you were gonna turn into the store when you were about to. You're gonna turn into the store once you have turned in off Mississippi instead of going to the south side. Fucking store, bro. Yeah. A seatbelt, nigga. You gotta be out your. My man, what is your name, bro. sir? You gotta be out your. What is your name, sir? Fucking supervisor, right now. Okay. Huh? Yeah, it comes back to a girl. So. Fifty-four Delta Two. 10 can you start me someone with a fingerprint scanner, please? Yeah, bitch ass nigga, do who the fuck yeah. I am. I'm gonna feel that nigga pussy ass nigga. Stupid ass nigga. Black man, you doing all this shit for this package, bro. Oh. You a tall ass nigga? Okay, sir. You a bitch, broke ass nigga. What they pay you a year, nigga? <laughs> Crazy, bro. Mr. Jones, when's your birthday? I don't have your birthday on here, sir. I need your birthday. Okay, that's fine. That's cool. Hey Siri, call Major Young on speakerphone. What's wrong with you, man? You can't turn my shit off, nigga. Where about it? Do you uh, do y'all have odor? Cause I kind of got odor when I get in here when I, I went got there. It right here, bro. If you got it up here, then it might have came off of him. Look here, man. Here's your chance to be honest. When's the last time you smoked or had someone smoke? When's the last time you smoked marijuana, sir? Okay. That's fine. All right. Major, this is weak, man. I got pulled over here because I tried to get out of my car. I put it to the stove, and I'm in handcuffs by the seatbelt. What's up, sir? So, he was driving without a seatbelt on, pulled up to the stop sign, did the traffic stop right here. As soon as I blue lit him, he got out the car and started cursing and stuff, walked up to him. So like, hey, calm down, whatever. He didn't want to calm down, so we were about to put him in cuffs. He started actively resisting us. They grabbed both his arms, and I said, if you decide to fight the officers, you're going to get tased. And now he's on the phone with Major Young somehow and called her on his Apple Watch or AirPods. We have odor from marijuana from the car. We're about to search it, and then if there's nothing in the car. He's just going to get citations for the seatbelt. You got gloves with you? He jumped out the car as soon as we blew in, started yelling and cursing. Um, told him to calm down or else she's gonna go in cuffs. Go to his heart, put him in cuffs, starts actively resisting. I take out my taser while well, they have his arms, didn't park it, turn it on or anything. He said if you decide to fight them or resist, you're gonna get tased. And now he called Captain Young somehow. And he had odor of marijuana when he was uh, holding him, so I'm gonna go ahead and search the car and call him the you got an idea? Uh, yeah, Malik Jones. You know him? Name sounds 
ultra familiar. I got them pulled up in Phoenix if you want to look at it. I'll, 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 I'll find them. You guys do your thing. You said there's some residue on the seats? Yeah, I'm getting pulled. Uh, yeah, I'm getting whipped up here. Are they actually familiar? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, there's a shake right there. Um, I was about to say, I don't know where it is. For the trunk? Yeah. This is girlfriend's car as well, so. In the trunk? Yeah, the odor of burnt marijuana. Uh, I found bullets, so there might be a gun somewhere. There might be a gun in here somewhere. Oh, I got a gun. Here we go. There it is. And I'm pretty sure he is a convicted felon. Evelyn, I found the 20. I said I found the 20. There you go. I think we're about to have possession fire on my convicted felon. Yeah, cut that. I'm gonna just cut that one. Oh yeah. Hey, let's do this. Check my side, and then I'll check your side. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get this out. Uh, check man on the gun real quick. No, it was underneath the driver's seat. Contact with a female. Can you run a Sigma 20? It's going to be Delta X ray. 320669 on a Taurus 357 Magna. Where y'all switch the ass? We with all that shooting going on right here. Well, if you have any information about it, you can tell us. This man just made a great point. The cop is asking the man to snitch and give him information regarding a shooting. The man swiftly points out that the cop is too much of a coward to go to that incident and stop the shooter. Maybe this is why there's a low percentage of cold case files ever solved. Cops would rather go for easy pickings on the side of the road and still cry officer safety. Okay. Can you repeat the serial number? Delta X-ray 320-669. Gun stash? Where was it? Underneath the uh, driver's seat. Like, way underneath it. Yeah. Yeah. That's probably why he's acting like that. So he's trying to call Major Gun? He was. I guess he called him on his Apple Watch. He said, hey Siri, and I'll turn his phone off though, so. Yeah, you got a uh, work identification, right? Huh? Yeah, work identification, right? You found him? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I found him, and then I found him on Phoenix. Dispatch 2542, a reference to. Your signal 20 of serial number Delta X-ray 320-669, no record. 10-4. I'm going to help you all finish searching, and then um, some, because of the speed of charges, I'm going to call teletype just because. Just because you know. Yeah. yeah. Possession, of, possession of cocaine with intent to distribute, and I think one other. Uh, when was this? 2017. So it would have been adjudicated by now if he is convicted. No, he has a couple of uh, other things too. Let's see. He wouldn't come back to the front, but 
Yeah, possession of cocaine with intent, possession of cocaine, and then some misdemeanor stuff, but I was just going to check just to be safe. Oh, of course, nice power though. And then I'll, uh, I'm going to get, or if y'all are good with this, I'll get started got, on that. Got, yeah, yeah. Four, me out. So I'm going to get started with that real quick. Thank you for calling Telepipe. Hey, how are you doing today, ma'am? Uh, thank you. Hey, my name is Officer Johnson with SPD. I need to uh, get a criminal history ran on a subject. You might be convicted felon. <laughs> Your incident has been updated. Well, you can't fuck me, bro. Okay, buddy. Why the fuck y'all tearing my shit up like that? Clown ass niggas. You said you are with uh, SPD? Yes, ma'am. Your incident has been updated. Mm -hmm. Malik, M A L I K. Race and sex? The black male. Well, sir, if you give us information about who's doing the shootings, we're more than happy to go find them. You wasted time on me, dumbass boy. You dumb as fuck. You wasted your fucking time on me. Okay, sir. All the shit going on, your scary ass gonna be on those scenes like that, and you fought a spot. You don't know what I've done in my career, man. What? So you don't know what I've done in my career, sir. I'm not showing any convictions okay. for any of the felonies he's been arrested for. Mm -hmm. They were all dismissed. Okay. All right, cool. Um, yeah, we just want to at least check and do our due diligence and make sure that he wasn't. Yeah. No, he was unfortunately not arrested for or convicted for any of them. Yeah, well, based upon what I was acting today, I wouldn't be surprised if he came in the future, so. <laughs> but... All right, ma'am. Well, we appreciate your time. So I'm probably going to have to cancel this VRN then, uh, if that's okay with you. <laughs> okay, well, thank you, and I hope you have a good rest of your day. You as well, ma'am. Okay, sir. Just so you know, sir, I'm going to give you a warning for your seatbelt, okay? It was going to be a warning from the beginning if you just would have never acted the way that you acted. I'm asking a fucking question, though, bro. I have a right to ask a question, bro. But I don't like the fact, bro. You a fucking nigga, bro. And you pumped your fucking tanks out when these fucking crackers holding me, bro. Because you should have let me no, put you in bro, handcuffs. That ain't no fucking because, bro. He's holding me, bro. You pull a fucking taser out, bro. That's some real fuck shit, bro. That's some house nigga shit, dog. For real, bro. Okay, I, this so. ain't my first rodeo with y'all, though. So, you know what I'm saying? You see who the fuck I call back here, bro? You don't know who the fuck I am, bro, but you better Google who the fuck I am, bro. This ain't the end of this shit, bro. It's not the end of this shit, bro. You yes, better sir. have your motherfucking body cam on and follow all the SOT fucking procedures, nigga. Because I'm on your ass, boy. Yes, so sir. So, fucking seatbelt, bro, and you give me a fucking warning, bro? Come on, man. Get the fuck out of here, bro. Stop with y'all, bro. All the fucking shooting that going around here, bro. Fuck out of here, man. That's why I ran for fuck. That's my guy that fucking city council ran. I'm gonna expose y'all fuck asses, bro. I'm gonna expose y'all. Yes, sir. Fuck y'all, man. Y'all understand. Now, all this fucking vacancy, I'm here for a fucking seatbelt, bro. And I'm asking you what the fuck is wrong with you. And you pull your fucking draw your table and tell me you're gonna fucking change me, bro. Listen, boy, got that bad boy, you know you a big boy. Okay, sir. Me on the street, boy, outside that bad boy. Half of y'all, y'all cowards like a bully. And now y'all using the beast, y'all fucking power, bro. That's one of the reasons I got that feeling of fuck me was like you in the same fucking area, bro. Fucking power, bro. Not so fucking tough. Look, don't fucking open my oh, fucking God, hood too, shit, goddammit. Oh, my fucking, I pay you fucking public service, man. Ely, did y'all track the hood? Ely, y'all track the hood? Open the fucking hood and pop the fucking car too, goddammit. Did you check the hood? I popped the hood earlier. I just didn't get a chance to check it because I came back to do it again. Okay. Can you pop it and just check this? I'll pay you bitches. Huh? So I'm going to throw his bullets up in the front seat. Hold on. Huh? What's that? That's right. I'm going to hold on. Yeah, I talked to him. They said uh, 
his possession of cocaine with intent was uh, dismissed somehow. But he works at the port, so that might have something to do with it. With intent to distribute. Oh. Uh, Literally all he had to do was just sit in the car, let me walk up, talk to him. Has he, he, he cooled down. down yet? No, he's still talking, but it's okay. Alright, I'll put the revolver back in the trunk. I'm gonna throw these rounds up here in the front seat and then I'll give him his paperwork call him there. Ready to take this guy out? Let me take him out real quick. Out this car, man. Okay, sir. You sit off me, man. Hey, matter of fact, y'all first two that came up, make sure you put your name and badge number on my mother's side taste, man. One, whatever the fuck you give it, no bro. No problem, man. All this for a seat belt, bro. Fuck okay, off sir. me, man. How do we get this shit off me, man? Alright, Mr. Jones. Damn, rookie, you can't take any of those off? First day? Yeah, you better watch your mouth. Yeah, you ain't nobody. You. I need you to sign this, okay? You tell my nine, sir. All right, so. You tell my nine. You want this shit. So, like I said, this is a warning citation for your seatbelt, all right? Mm hmm. Sign to Mr. Gilch to say that you. this is the reason why you got stopped. All right, here you go, sir. Let me get them names and them badge numbers, though. I'll get that body count. Make sure you got that report up, too. Have it for me. I know Monday a holiday. Make sure we have it for so I can crash that body cam, baby boy. There's no report for it, though. Oh, no. You're going to make a CRN. You made a traffic stop. Make him up a CRN. Hey, sir. He made a CRN. He came in contact with me, so he need to give me a CRN because I need his body cam footage. Need I need his body cam footage for the traffic sir. stop. You can do it no Here you go, record. sir. You make sure I get the name, the badge number. I need you to write it down. He's supposed to write it down. Provide me a card. I can pull up your SOP right now. Pull up SOP. I can pull up right now. His name and badge number is on that. I said everybody who was here with him. If you want their name, my name is Sergeant Cologne. You call. You're supposed to give that to me in writing, Sergeant Cologne. Sir, I asked for the writing, sir. Sir, I asked for the writing, sir. Put it on there. No, Sergeant I Cologne. No, sir. 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 You have to call Eastside Precinct. Give me your name. Recorded. I want his Sergeant name Cologne. and the guys that put their fucking Sergeant hands on me before I got in handcuffed and right. I will pull Cologne. up your fucking SOP right pull now, up, sir. sir. Sir, your SOP yeah, state. Go. I've had this happen before, sir. So uh -huh. you're right here, sir. You're a sergeant. That's that determines why your fucking people that work under you operate the way they operate. Yep. They're supposed to provide right. me in writing a car with okay. their name and their badge number on it. These two put their hands on sergeant. me, and he put out a taser, sir. He put out a taser, and, and they was holding me while I he pulled you? that taser out, sir. I, I need you? a name and a what badge number you? in writing. What did I, I need it in writing. What did I tell it's you? not fuck what you say. It's about what your SOP say. Okay. It's about you what your SOP say. Now before you get yourself in more arrested trouble, for sir. what? So now you're going to make an arrest. Condo. This only con Keep what? It going. Let's this go. only the supervisor just threatened the man to take him to jail for disorderly conduct. How did he make it to supervisor, not knowing that he can't be the complainant? This is the problem with police. They say they don't have money for training, but they sure have money for lawsuits. This is why people don't respect nor trust police, nor should they. Their feelings enforcement, not law enforcement. For what? Sir. I beat them. I will, I will, please, Google who I am. I would love for you to take me to jail for disorderly conduct no, right sir. now. That's what I'm begging you to do. No, sir. You know have what I mean? Nice in my night. beat? Have a nice when I was running for city council in March, nice I beat night. the fuck out your officer, Sergeant Petit, with a disorderly conduct. You better ask who the fuck I am, bro. They know who I am, bro. That's right. That's fine. Again, have a nice you're night. another sergeant. Have I had nice this problem day, with sir. another officer, sir. So this is what you want to do. I had a yeah. problem with this another officer. Have a nice day. And I he said the same thing. And I sir, be more than happy I was put in handcuffs. Right. You mean to tell me that you're not going to give me a CRN when these two officers, I'm a part of that one over there, grab me and your officer right here pull his taser out and threaten to tase me. You mean to tell me I'm not getting a CRN for that? No, you're not. Okay. So this is what we do. Eight nine one eight. Okay. We go, we, I, I see what type of game. You know the guy him, but you motherfuckers don't know who the fuck I am. And I keep coming through. Alright. Eight four two nine. Can I get to you? Mm -hmm. Officer Blackman. Officer Grimes. Sergeant Cologne. I already told you something. You don't know about. shit. You. Officer mm -hmm. Johnson. Alright. Have, Have a good day, nice sir. Have a day, you public service. I pay yeah. you big ass. Your gun's in your trunk, okay? You know what? When you make the money you make, that's why y'all act like y'all don't understand.
Clearly cops have nothing better to do than to harass a man over dumb infractions like seatbelt laws. That's what all of this stemmed from. This cop was aggressive. He had opinions that he couldn't keep to himself. He had backup from other cops who went hands-on as well. He had a supervisor that doesn't understand the people's natural rights. This was a massive shit show from the beginning. The man had every reason to be upset. These cops more than likely lied about the smell as well in order to justify their search of the vehicle. This is why in some states, cops aren't allowed to do that anymore. They're habitual liars. The only time you can get a cop in trouble for lying is when they seem to put that lie on paper. That's important, so keep that in mind. Bad cops create great future activists. I hope this dude does more videos in the future. I can use some more of that, this time on his terms. See here some advice for those who'd like to record police. Just use your phone. You don't need to go out and buy a fancy camera. Start from a distance until you feel comfortable to move in closer. Don't look at them in their evil eyes. Look at them through your camera. This will let them know they're not only talking to you. You won't even get the accidental crotch cam that we've all gotten before. There's nothing nice about looking at their crotch during the interaction. Remember to keep your cameras at the ready. Practice pulling it out like if it's a Smith & Wesson. Your camera could possibly save your life or someone else's. And since cops don't know what the people's natural rights are, as proved in this video, we're going to teach it to you so you can teach a cop. When you see a cop, since every department in America has failed to do, you have the freedom of speech. As this man understands clearly, you have the freedom of press, freedom of religion, freedom of assembly, and a freedom to petition your government for a redress of grievances. The First Amendment was not written to give you your rights. It was written to limit the scope of authority government has over we the people. The same goes for the rest of the Constitution. And that does it for today's video, folks. Make sure to go subscribe to the original channel and give him the credit he deserves. Let him know who sent you. We are the best at helping people's channels grow because you guys make it happen. Thank you all in advance. I truly do appreciate you and consider you part of the San Joaquin family. See you on the next video.